One of the main issues that Satan is doing now, even to those who are called, especially those who are called, is to divide them. Is to divide. Another one believe in this, another one believe in that. Another one have to complain. And also, you must never, I'm talking about you are called, you must never, if your parents, allow your children to divide you. Because remember, your children were not there, you were together. So now, if now you, you have children now, three stand with two, it's a problem now. It means Satan is attacking one of your child so that you people will divide. And when you are divided, you are weak. So what God wants to give you, it won't come. Temptation, you know, it comes that way. You, you must be careful. I'm just referring that to everybody who's married, including the servants of God. What you can do, you people here, build up strength together. Strength to one another. Strength. You must laugh together. You must be able to laugh together. If you laugh, if you're able to laugh together and talk and you've got unity, I'm telling you, nobody can stop you. People will say you are bad, but God will lift you up. I'm sure you understand that. So, build that unity like this. I'm just referring to pastors there. People who are, how many people are married here? This is your message. This is your message. Most of the time you'll find that I just have to tell you this thing. It's like, Holy Spirit say I must tell you because many of you have got a problem in your marriage. You find that another one disagree. Like myself, uh, I don't want to disagree. I don't want to disagree. Because I know what disagreement, it, it brings delay. Disagreement brings what? Delay. If, if my, my partner, she's suggesting something, I don't say, no, it's not true, or what. I say, okay, you're you are speaking something. I'm not disagree. I do say, no, 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 I know it this way. I'm sure you understand that. Don't disagree. Agree all the time. When you agree all the time, you are united. Holy Spirit will come. Read Acts chapter 2. Holy Spirit will come when you are united. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you want to succeed, unite. Don't disagree. A wife always must reverence her husband. A husband must love his wife. There's no issue of saying, You forget it's your wife. You must treat your wife like an egg. If I don't treat my wife like an egg, she was supposed to be thin now. Because how do you know you are treating your wife like an egg? Check her weight. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. You must check her weight, if possible. Buy a scale there. Put it there. You say, stand here. Okay, yeah, you are going here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you are a husband, you are still able to carry your wife, there's a problem. You must carry your wife the day you marry her. Eh? But when she enters there, she must carry you. <laughs> ah, you cannot I'm sure you understand what I'm saying eh? if, if we want to succeed in South Africa eh, let's love our wives and let the wives respect their husband how do you respect your husband when you are in the meeting eh? and now people are talking you wife, keep quiet. Keep quiet. Wait for your wife, your husband to say, can you talk? Is there anything you can say? Now you just say, my husband said it all, but I was thinking about one, two, three. You are the one to, to, to help your husband on the other side. Don't prove in the meeting that you are intelligent. Don't prove when you are sitting like this. If you want to be a couple that will be blessed, 
where Satan won't even visit you. Make sure that when your wife, keep quiet. I mean, deal with yourself, be quiet. The reason why, you know, there's a divorce is because the wife now doesn't even hear sense from the husband. When the husband is speaking, it's like uh, he's, he can't finish the story. You take over. You take over. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm praying for marriages. I'm praying for your marriage. That marriage must be delivered. It must be delivered. How many of you understand what I'm trying to say? From today, you do this. Like now, here. Here. Mama, she doesn't do anything unless I tell her. Yeah. That's why many people are blaming Mama. They can't blame me. And if I tell her, do this, she will do it exactly. Exactly. She doesn't care who say. She said, no, he said I must do it. I'm doing it. You must never argue in front of your children. You are teaching your children to do the same. And when they grow up, they will clap you. Because they've learned that from you. How many of you are learning what I'm saying? I'm calling people who have got problems now in their marriage. Run forward here. In your marriage. Stop there. Stop there. Can you see people who have got problems in their marriages now? That is the main issue. If you read, maybe you have studied sociology. And now your husband didn't study anything. Don't use sociology in your house. Watch what is happening there. Watch what is happening. Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! I command your marriage to work. I command your marriage to work. Fire on that marriage. Take it! That brother, there's a fire on you. There's a fire on you, brother. Catch that fire. Catch that fire. In the name of Jesus. Here, my brother, you and your wife, do what I'm saying. You understand? Even you, you hear me? Yes, Dad. Because that's yes. what, what I'm talking about. It's exactly what is happening to you. Exactly. Huh? Yes, Papa. Sometimes when you speak here, it's like you're a small boy. Exactly. So do what I'm trying to tell you. You will make it. You, you hear me, my sister? Yes. Huh? Yes, my husband. You hear? Yes. Wait for your husband to finish talking. You people here, we cannot pray for you forever. Respect one another, love one another, you will make it. God Amen. bless you. Thank you. Thank you. There's another one who's a pastor here. Where is she? What is your husband? He's here. You have got the same problem. Amen. Huh? So, I don't know. Sometimes when you are, you know, the, the, the height of your, the height of your wife, the height of your wife, allow me to tell you this thing because if I say I'm praying for you, pray for you, it's a waste now. The height of your wife is very, very important for you. Amen. If now we are short like you and, and the wife is taller or you are equal by height, you must thank God about it. Amen. You understand? Yeah. Because the more you are able to look at each other's eye face to face, but it must help you to help your husband. Amen. If you are taller than your husband or you are equal, that does not mean that you are equal in strength. You understand? Yes. So you help your husband. Amen. I receive. Because your husband, most of the time, he takes decisions by himself. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. And uh, you find it's a mess. It's true, Papa. And but yourself also, you are a very rough woman. Amen. It's not true, brother. Yes. Yes. Huh? She is, she is. Yeah. She's a very rough person. Yeah. Sometimes she sees that you have taken this decision, she will come and show you. Huh? That's right. Yes. Huh? Yes. And there's nothing you can say. Yeah. I'm just keeping quiet. You just keep quiet because you are afraid to sin. Yeah. For the ministry, just keep quiet. For, for the, the sake the of sin. God. She, yeah. yeah. And now, this has been a problem. For many years. Yes. It's not something of now. So, 
I don't know, I'm trying to pull these people together. When you find that your, your, your husband is shorter, take advantage. You are able to read your husband, to help him. It's not like when your husband is tall. Now always you have to do like this and look there. But when you're like this, you are able to do like this. It's just, oh, my husband is thinking about this. Can I help him this way? This is an advantage of your height, my sister. It's not a, a, it's, it's not a position of putting your, your husband down. I know she's doing this because of the problem you make before. Yes. There was a problem you did. So she can't trust. She thinks you can misuse the money. Yes. It's not... It's true, Daddy. Huh? It's true. So please help your husband. I'm very happy that you marry a shorter uh, husband. You are able to look at him like this. And you know it's good to marry. Come here, let me show you. Come. You see, this one is very... Let's take... This one is the husband and I'm the wife. It's nice to have a, a, a husband which is short. Because when you, you see the wife, just walk. You are able to follow your, your foot. <laughs> Remember you are the helper. Eh? Yes. You are, you are, as your wife, you are what? You are the helper. So you are able to see that my husband is like, it's angry now. You are beginning to say, hey, hey no, 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 no. <laughs> But now, okay, go back. Now you marry, I don't know how I can tell you. It's part of your deliverance. Where's your wife? She's at work. Okay, let me see you. This is an advantage I'm telling you. Come, you are, you are of the same level. Can you see this? If you look at your other eyes, you are able to see each other nicely. I'm sure you understand that. But now, brother, come. Where is your wife? Come. <laughs> I just want to show you this, but I want to pray for deliverance. Hold your husband. When you are like this, it's also good for their marriage. Just walk. Go back a little bit. No, go on the other side. Hold his hand. Follow him. Follow him. No, put your hand like this. Don't do it like you are shaking hand in the church. Go behind. Go behind. If there's a problem, you won't see it, my sister. <laughs> Is it not true? <laughs> this man... Can you, just, can you see her on the other side? And uh, he can be able to meet a lady here. <laughs> this height is very good just for protection <laughs> so every height it has got its own advantage okay thank you god bless you